We have lemurs that tap on trees at night, blue-footed birds, and the rarest cotton candy-colored lobster in the world. Don't swipe or click away because here are the 10 strangest animals you won't believe exist. 10. Create an Otos Moth Who would have thought that butterflies could be transformed into horrifying appearing monsters that are eager to devour… pomegranates? Yes, these tiny moths, whose wingspan is less than 2 inches, eat the leaves of pomegranate trees. They have a history of seriously harming orchards. The next interesting part is that the things you can see on this animal's back are known as core math. They're used by the males to secrete a unique pheromone, and they have four of them. Interesting fact, if their diet is higher in alkaloids, the male's coromata can expand and they can release 400 micrograms of pheromones into the air, which increases their chances of attracting females. If these alkaloids are missing from their diet, the coromata do not grow and produce no pheromones. They're essentially doomed to a life of celibacy. We simply want to know what kind of girl gets attracted to these things. 9. Rosy Maple Moth Think again if you think this image is photoshopped. The rosy maple moth is not only the smallest silk moth, but also one of the ones with the most vibrant colors. An adult's wingspan ranges from 1.2 to 1.7 inches on average. They have pink and yellow wings, a yellow body, pink legs, and yellow antenna. The rosy maple moth inhabits temperate deciduous forests, as well as the nearby suburbs and urban environments. As implied by their name, they can be found on maple trees, including red maples, sugar maples, silver maples, and box elder maples. Additionally, they can be discovered on oak trees, especially turkey oaks, particularly if they're scattered among maple trees. This is where the females lay their eggs. The caterpillars, once they hatch, will eat the maple tree's leaves. But the adults are harmless. Like many other Saturnid moths, they don't eat. They are now preyed upon by predators like blue jays, black-capped chickadees, and tufted titmice due to their vibrant colors. 8. South Jellyfish They've appeared on Azerbaijani stamps, and now we're going to talk about these planktonic tunicates. The salps use jet propulsion, which is different from other aquatic animals. They will pump water out of one end of their body after sucking it in through their internal feeding filters, which will help them move forward. They frequently congregate in stringy colonies and are found in equatorial or cold seas. They typically grow attached in a chain known as blast zooids and range in height from 0.4 to 4 inches. These chains are all hermaphrodites, which means they each both have male and female reproductive organs. If the salps notice an increase in the local phytoplankton population, they can quickly butt off clones and change their feeding habits. In actuality, they have a faster rate of growth than any other multicellular animal on the planet. 7. Feather Stars This is a feather star. They're ancient marine invertebrates that have existed in the ocean for a very long time. These feather stars will typically remain stationary and perched on the surface. However, they will move around if a predator attacks them or if they're looking for food. They have these cirri that resemble fingers for feeding, and these cirri are used to catch plankton. Feather stars come in a variety of forms, some of which can reach enormous sizes, such as this one. Because of its weight, this feather star has to crawl along the ocean floor. These animals will lift their arms to create a parachute when they locate their next perch and fall from it. They'll lie there motionless once they've found a comfortable position. 6. Yeti Crab Scientists have found this peculiar colony of crabs in the waters close to Antarctica. Yeti crabs are these pale white creatures, and they have the same hairy undersides as many other varieties of crab. They dwell at a depth of about 7,800 feet in total darkness. The colonies are mostly fixed, with the males moving near Antarctic vents to feed on bacteria colonies with their hairy underbellies. Female crabs and young crabs stay out of the vents and in cooler water. Speaking of the vents, we should point out that they're probably the only thing keeping these crab colonies alive in such sweltering conditions. They spew mineral water, which can get as hot as 720 degrees Fahrenheit. This warms the water nearby, making it inhabitable. 5. Blue-Footed Booby this bird, which lives in the eastern Pacific, has one of the most peculiar appearances you've ever seen. The birds are rather big, measuring 3 feet in length and 5 feet in wingspan. Their heads and necks are brown, but their underbelly is as white as snow. The two blue feet are what set them apart. Regarding feet, we should mention that blue-footed boobies live up to their name, and the males are extremely proud of their amazing feet. Male birds strut up and down while raising their blue feet higher and higher in the air to display their feet to potential mates during mating rituals something a child would do in showing off their new shoes. The more blue the feet, the more attractive the partner. 4. Fire Snail A part of the reason they're known as the Malaysian Fire Snail is that they can be found on the Malaysian Peninsula. 
A black shell and a bright red foot are the distinguishing features of this snail species. They're most likely on the verge of extinction as a result of this characteristic. They still desire to live in mountainous forests, but their habitat is becoming less and less viable due to localized urbanization. This is the first factor contributing to their extinction. Poachers make up the second reason. They will capture and keep these animals as pets because they have a distinctive color pattern. However, the fire snail has very particular habitat requirements that cannot be met in a glass cage. The fire snail that is kept in captivity frequently passes away very quickly. 3. Eye Eye This animal has the appearance of a guinea pig one might find in Uncle Fester's cellar. No, this is a long-fingered lemur, which can be found primarily in Madagascar. These unusual creatures might not appear to be primates at first glance, but they are related to humans, chimpanzees, and other apes. Eye Eyes avoid coming to the ground by living in trees in the rainforest. As nocturnal creatures, they spend the day curled up in a nest made of leaves and branches. In the forks of big trees, the nests look like closed spheres with a single entry hole. One of this animal's fingers is longer than the others, as you may have noticed. There is a cause for this. This nocturnal primate searches for grubs by tapping the trees with its hand. Once it has located the grubs, it will use its long teeth to rip a hole in the bark of the tree. Then it will use that long finger to remove all the maggots before eating them. It may surprise you to learn that the eye eye is an endangered species. 2. Cotton Candy Blue Lobster Guys, this is Hattie a female lobster that a Maine lobsterman caught on one of his routine fishing trips. Bill Coppersmith digs up the familiar brown everyday lobsters almost every day. But things were different this time. He pulled up a lobster with the color of cotton candy, thus the name. Naturally, since it was a female, he gave it the name of his eight-year-old granddaughter. His co-workers and friends informed him that the likelihood of encountering this lobster is one in 100 million. Hattie's unique shell is most likely the result of an inherited genetic mutation or her diet. The dark brown color of lobsters is typically the result of three or four different pigments, such as red, blue, and yellow layering together. The rare crustacean is currently housed at the Seacoast Science Center, where it will be protected from predators. 1. Blue Sea Dragon They have the Latin name Glaucus Atlanticus and can grow to be 1.2 inches long. They float upside down, which is what makes them interesting. They glide beneath the water thanks to surface tension because they're pelagic which means they use those tiny tentacles to sort of grip the water's surface. Since they can't swim with their tentacles, they float along with the wind and the ocean currents. They're mainly found in India and Peru, but they pose some risks to people. You see, the Portuguese man-o-war is a food source for the blue sea dragon. They can store the poisonous nematosis in their finger-like extremities by ingesting them. So it's best to avoid picking it up because the sting could be extremely painful and could cause vomiting. Contact dermatitis and other side effects. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment down below. And also, don't forget to watch more of our videos and subscribe to our channel.